Why does my eye look so much bigger inside this hole? <laughs> that is weird. Hello and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Natisha. I am a vintage reseller and collector. And on Wednesdays and Fridays, I take you thrift store shopping in search of vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop or keep for my own collection. And every Sunday we meet back here and I show you everything that I got. And today I have a haul from the Salvation Army and Value Village. If you have not seen those Thrift With Me videos, I will link them down in the description box below so you can go there and check them out. And also I am Canadian, so the prices are in Canadian currency. And I'm gonna start off with everything that I got from the Salvation Army. So I'm gonna start off with this lamp and it is a ceramic base. It's got a very modern look to it with the hole in the middle. Why does my eye look so much bigger inside this hole? <laughs> that is weird. All right, so um, probably 90s, early 2000s, I would think. I have sold several similar style lamps. They're more of an Art Deco revival style to them. So I knew for a fact that those were 1980s and you could tell by the cord the fixtures that it, they were 1980s. This one I believe is more newer, but I think that it is at least 20 years old, I would say. The ones that I sold, none of them had shades. I just sold the base. And I think I sold those for around 32 to $38 plus shipping. So I would say about 38 to 42 with the lamp. So that is what I would expect to get, $38 to $42 with the shade. And I found this piece. And it is, I believe, Orifor glass. I think that's what the bottom says. I'm pretty sure it says Orifor. And it looks like a spaceship to me. <laughs> it's a very nice weighty glass tea light holder. It was $1.99 and I would expect to get $24 to $28 for this. And this piece, I have not done any research so I do not know really much about this it is Portugal glass, handmade. It was $1.99 and originally at one time it was $5.97. I don't know how old it is. This sticker is what made me think that it was probably vintage. It just has a vintage look to it that it would be at least 20 years old or older just by the sticker. So I still have to look into this piece a little bit more and find out exactly what era it is, it is from and the value of it. I paid $1.99, I'm not sure if I said that, but I would expect to get at least $22 to $24 for it. And who knows, possibly more, possibly less. We'll see when I do a little bit more research. I grabbed a few wallets. I got this one for $1.99. I love tooled leather. It's just a tiny little coin pouch. I just thought it was really fun because it had mushrooms on it and a toucan. Not a lot of value in this piece, maybe eight to $10. And I may throw it in with a free gift with purchase when someone purchases a tooled leather purse from me. I have several 
tooled leather purses in my shop, so it may just get thrown in as a free gift with purchase. I just can't leave cute little tooled leather pieces behind, even though I know there's not a lot of value to them. So I have to rescue them. And this wallet is a Buxton Oasis Genuine Leather made in Canada. It is $3.99 and it's in really nice condition. I'm going to say probably 1970s, maybe 1980s. And I've sold a few of these Buxton wallets in my Etsy shop. And I believe I sold them for around 20 to $25, maybe a little bit more plus shipping. I will put the exact amount up here so it'll pop out. And this one I got for myself. I don't think it's that old. And I just got it because I love the red plaid. That is my favorite. It's kind of got a nice texture to it as well. It's exactly the same style as my old wallet, but my old one is completely falling apart. So I grabbed this one and I will use it for myself. And it was $3.99 as well. And I picked up this book and I don't think it was in the video and it's a Quill, Quill Mask Ink, I believe that says, 1981. And I remember these from the 80s. Does anyone else remember these books? These little kind of diary style books with lined paper in them. And this just brought me back. It was very nostalgic when I saw this book. I think I had one maybe in the late eighties and it was $1.99 and I just picked it up for myself. It's, it's never been used and it's in really nice condition. There's just a little bit of wear on the inside of the cover here. So I will use it. Was that everything from, no, these, dishes, my dishes. I finally found dishes for our country home. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have been in search of some dish dishware for our country home. And I wanted something that was indicative of the era of the country home, but I didn't want a whole entire set of china we don't have a lot of space to store dishware, so I just wanted some plates and bowls. So I found these and I got four bowls for $2.99. They're old Chelsea Johnson Brothers made in England. And I just thought the rose pattern was so pretty. I absolutely love rose anything. <laughs> Roses on dishes, clothes, scarves, whatever, you name it. I love roses. So I thought it was a really pretty pattern. And I got four plates and the plates were four for $4.99. So these will be perfect. They will fit right in with our country home. The nice thing about using dishes like this in our country home is we don't have a dishwasher, so they're not gonna get dishwasher damaged. They just may accidentally get chipped or broken, but hopefully not. So that was everything from the Salvation Army, and I think my total in there was somewhere around $30. And then I have a very, very small haul from Value Village. So I will just get right to that haul. And I grabbed this treasure craft souvenir piece. It says Hawaii 50th state. It was $2.99. I don't know. I just sold a Yellowstone bowl. It was a larger bowl, though. It kind of had a shell shape to it. 
and it was the orange glaze. And I can't remember exactly what I sold that for. This I would expect to get less than I got for that bowl because the bowl was quite large. It was a much larger size. But I would say about $22 for this at the very most. And it's very specific because it is a souvenir piece. So it would take the right buyer to come along and be looking for that particular piece for their collection. And this guy is a cute little elephant planter. He was $3.99. There is no sticker or anything. Likely it is a made in Japan piece. A lot of times these are Rubens originals. And I've sold quite a few of these kitschy anthropomorphic planters in my shop. The lambs are more popular, but it's a cute little elephant. And these are perfect for Q-tips, whatever you need in a baby's room. Put it on the dresser with, or near the change table with Q-tips or whatever. Just really cute little planter. I would expect to get 18 to $22 for this. And then this piece wasn't in the video because I didn't thrift it, Wendell did. <laughs> he brought it home, but I thought I would throw it into the haul because it was from Value Village and it was $2.99. And it is a sponge frog or a frog sponge holder with the sponge in the frog's mouth. And it's got a iridescent glaze on it and gold eyebrows. <laughs> it's always fun to see what these pieces are decorated. Like they could be some real retro, you know, oranges and greens and different colors or white and black or blue, whatever. So it's always interesting. They're never the same because they are hobbyist pieces. Someone just painted this and, but they're very popular. I've sold several of these in my Etsy shop and I would expect to get 20 to $22 for this guy. And I will put in exactly what I've sold the other ones for. And like I said before, my prices include shipping, so. But I will put that in the video so you know exactly what I sold it for. But I'm thinking probably around $20, 20 to 22 for this guy. No chips or cracks, really nice condition. And I got this beautiful table runner. I love the design on this one. And it's on both sides. And it was $2.99. And really nice condition. I don't think there's any stains on this one. And I would expect to get $24 to $28 for this one. It's in really nice condition. And that was everything from Value Village. And my total was, and I have the receipt way over here, because I forgot. My total was $10.69, not including the frog. The frog was, I didn't buy it, Wendell did, so. So that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you are new and you like my content, be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.